How's it going Instacart shoppers? Today we're going to be talking about how to get Instacart sick pay. As you guys might know, I currently have COVID so I'm having to deal with all of this. Not really too sure if it's worth doing this or not because I may get held back on when I could start shopping again even though my quarantine might be up by time Instacart thinks it should be. But that's a whole deal and we're gonna get into that right now. So if you guys look on Instacart's page, they do go over this and a lot of people don't know that this even exists. So extended pay until the end of the COVID-19 crisis, who knows when that's gonna be. We're offering up to 14 days of pay for any full service shopper or part-time employee who is diagnosed with COVID-19 or placed in individual mandatory isolation or quarantine as directed by local, state, or public health authority. That part's important, and we'll get to that in a minute. This assistance will be available throughout the duration of the COVID-19 crisis to ensure that the shopper community continues to be supported. So right here, all Instacart part-time employees, including in-store shoppers, now all have access to sick pay and accrued benefit that can be used as paid time off if you're absent from work due to illness or injury. This is a little confusing because Instacart does hire people like as an hourly wage, just to shop in the store or do like delivery onlys. I don't know too much information about that, but people like me that just do Instacart as like a side hustle are still eligible for this. And uh, basically how you get started with all of this is you contact support on your phone and you let them know the bad news that you have a positive COVID test. Something to keep in mind here, if you guys do a take home COVID test, that's not enough for them to prove that it's you and that you're actually eligible. But we're gonna get into that in just a minute. Let's take a look at what the sick pay actually is. So like I said, there's not a lot of information on this, but what I have found is Basically, they, they pay you what you average in the previous 14 days before your diagnosis. And the calculation excludes tips, which are about one third of the pay for most workers. For me, it's more like two thirds of the pay, so it's not gonna be that much. It's still something, but I'm not too sure if it's gonna be worth it or not in the long run because it is gonna be a big hassle. So uh, let's start getting into the process of how to apply for this because it is a doozy. So basically after you reach out to support, you should get an email that looks like this. Um, there's an email right here. This is who you wanna email if you're just a shopper using the app like me, working whenever you want as an individual contractor. Could be wrong here, but this is the person that I'm going through and from what I see, we are FSS shoppers. And that stands for full service shopper because you're doing the shopping and the delivery, you're doing all of it. So after you guys email that person, you'll get something that looks like this. This is the information that you need to give them. And um, if you're like me and don't have a doctor yet, it's gonna be a little weird. So they want the shopper declaration form, which is a form they give you. They give you all the forms. So that is something that you could fill out on your own, I believe, but this is where it gets a little weird for people like me at least. They want a medical provider form. I don't have a doctor, and even if I wanted to go get seen by a doctor right now besides like an ER, I would have to get on a waiting list that is literally months. So you guys can get around that by getting a positive COVID test from a, a verifiable testing location. It needs to include your shopper's name and date of diagnosis. So I scheduled a COVID test as soon as I had symptoms and I stopped shopping. But uh, the problem is here, by the time I'm able to get my COVID test that is from like a verifiable location, I am probably not going to have the disease anymore. So we're going to cross our fingers that I still have COVID by the time I get my test so I can actually verify that I did have COVID. Because my take home test that diagnosed me with COVID doesn't have my name on it, it's not verifiable, and Instacart's not really gonna care for it. So if you guys are in the weird scenario that I am in currently, which I, I hope you aren't, but there is this right here, and it might be how I go through with things, I haven't done it yet, but it's basically like a doctor on demand service that Instacart will pay all the fees for you just for you to get checked out. So let me read this blurb, I'm gonna try and make it pretty fast. To help ensure the shopper community has access to the care they need, Instacart is partnering with Doctor On Demand to offer free COVID-19 assessments and telemedicine appointments for shoppers nationwide. Any shopper experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 may take the online assessment through Doctor On Demand to help them determine whether or not they need to seek additional medical attention. Based on the results of the assessment, shoppers can schedule a free telemedicine appointment with a doctor to discuss a possible COVID-19 diagnosis. As part of the partnership, Instacart will be covering the cost of consultations and shoppers will have free access to telemedicine appointments to ensure they have access to care. If a shopper is clinically diagnosed with COVID-19, they'll be eligible to receive up to 14 days of extended pay 
to provide financial support during their recovery. So this is an option if you guys don't have a doctor. And like I said, this might be something that I go through with. Probably not something I really want to record with you guys because that is going to be pretty uh, personal. A lot of uh, just personal data that I, I don't want out there. But um, it's just an idea. So if you guys are in the weird situation that I am in, give that a try. It should be free. And if it isn't free, I wouldn't touch it. I have heard that getting this Instacart pay is just a hassle. And yes, it is but I have nothing else to do, so I'm gonna try and get it. And um, it's not like you're doing anything bad, it's literally something that Instacart offers you and most people just don't even know about it. So anyways, that is my video for today. I hope that you guys are able to get something out of this and that it helped you in some way. Please don't try to abuse this because Instacart might get rid of this for everyone if people are faking this and trying to steal money from Instacart. Also, if you guys are playing games, Instacart could just deactivate you. So. This is like something serious that you guys need to only do if you guys actually have COVID-19. Anyways, that is enough for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys stay healthy and see you later.